Our next reader teaches adults and kids about the city and its architecture at the Chicago Architecture Foundation, where she writes, teaches, lectures, and designs programs. Several times a year, she gets to collaborate with the brainy folks at WBEZ's Curious City to sleuth and report on listener-submitted questions about Chicago's architectural history. When she's not writing the L and writing haiku that chronicle life in the city, she's plain spotting and dreaming of ways to use her passport. She'd like to hear about your favorite place for tacos. Please welcome Jen Mason Gard. of haiku and last year when I read uh, I chose only haiku that you could just sort of hear and and just sort of get the idea from from the sound um, and this year when uh, Andrew said if, uh, if I could come back um, I chose haiku that have images that don't really make sense without the images and the image is just sort of this moment in time um, so why haiku uh, I started writing about eight years ago or so because I saw these really beautiful human moments in the city that we all encounter. These sort of just like these little glimpses of interactions or a, a moment in time, and I wanted to kind of capture them. Um, and then also I wanted to, to share them with friends or family that weren't in Chicago. Um, so I have a kind of four different sets here. Um, one, this first one is all of sort of these human moments in the city. And uh, some have images, uh, but not all. Where's the first one? Is that able it's, to uh, see? Not on that no. Oh, right. Got to slide the door open. Yeah. Up on top. There Perfect. We go. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Mm. So uh, I'm walking uh, uh, near the Sears Tower, near the Willis Tower. It's on my right, and I'm headed uh, to over the river. Oh. Can we do a little focus? No, it's focused. It it's is out of focus blurry. because blurry. I was taking it as I was walking, so it is out of focus. <laughs> so yeah, mom and, and kid here. Um, so here we go. Worn out from daycare, mom carries precious cargo to Union Station. This is in front of Symphony Center. Teen hormones, jitters, someday they'll tell grandkids they played orchestra hall. I'm across the street. He's traveled here from Europe. I should visit more. Careful Walgreens choice. New city ambassador will travel the world. <laughs> this is from this summer, watching, uh, watching in the loop. New suits, big backpacks, impractical high heels, young summer interns. <laughs> <laughs> Downtown four-part hymns, each summer from Ohio, Mennonite Choir. Bride, groom, celebrate with pot belly sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Wedding photos <coughs> done. I was getting a new passport photo and I was at the Notary Republic, Notary Republic and there was a couple there getting their divorce papers signed. And I wrote this one. Notary, Pu Notary Public tries to reunite, cajole, divorcing couple. This is the newest one I wrote yesterday. Riding with strangers, new city childhood norms, they wait for Uber. <laughs> You're not supposed to ride with strangers, but it's the norm your childhood norm. Uh, this one I took up on North Michigan Avenue. Dad, baby outside a store that's pink that you will recognize. <laughs> they wait outside. Perhaps Victoria was 
part responsible. <laughs> um, I don't write a lot of haiku uh, about person, personal things, more sort of what I observe, but these are four of uh, sort of moments of um, sort of about, about um, me, about life. So as um, the introduction said, I work at the Chicago Architecture Foundation, and uh, occasionally, uh, mostly I train the docents who give our tours, but occasionally I give tours as well. And this was um, a, a specific tour. Ten fifth grade boys on architectural tour like herding puppies. <laughs> Found teen diaries, Challenger, Berlin Wall, War, mostly school home boys. <laughs> Amid search for spouse, I crave simple chance to ask, how did your day go? And this was taken uh, in December this, of this past year when it was a really bad week. There were kind of three big things that happened in, in that week. There was a school shooting. Um, there was someone famous who really died, I don't remember who. And the uh, uh, presidential campaign really took an ugly turn. Sunday night laundry, both my thoughts and clothes tumble. Hope for calm new week. I uh, tend to also write a lot about uh, winter. I wrote um, uh, most of the, or many of the um, haiku that I wrote last year, or that I read last year, um, were about winter. But here's a couple more that are new this year. And, and fall, for that matter. You think you know me. Once a year, tree can exclaim, this is the true me. This is out of L stop in the loop. Feathers insulate, we both shiver near heat lamp, but birds were here first. <laughs> this was the holiday train. Rails, not reindeer, his adventure card reloaded. Warm cheer, frigid night. And this is kind of turned into January uh, when the snow cloud comes by and each intersection is a challenge to cross, right? Every intersection. Crossing mountains, hills, each intersection needs own topography map. <laughs> <laughs> and then comes March. Hideous, <laughs> hideous snow beasts revealing our winter sins, melting drip by drip. And then I have a, a series of um, haiku about sort of just observing the city. Uh, I spend a lot of time kind of with the lens of the built environment and architecture and kind of how our city functions. And one night I was standing at the L-stop at Wabash and Randolph, and I just got this moment of under like this thought that who else has stood at the same L-stop over the years? So this is an early one from about six years ago. Wabash at twilight, century of office girls waiting for train home. Their car is a bus, Christmas time in the city, no extra tree fare. <laughs> this is last year in October, coming past Wrigley. Game four, top of the sixth. Wrigley glows in October, no joy in Mudville. <laughs> Mies could not have dreamed college kids play frisbee on modernist plaza. Street geology, architectural strata, our own Grand Canyon. City surgery, 130-year-old digestive system. <laughs> this was the NATO uh, um, summit this year, several years ago. War, health, banks, coal, drugs. If you've got a complaint, then this is your weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Thought 
thoughtful gang member takes a break from tagging new turf, his mom would be proud. <laughs> Silent music box, they pirouette on State Street after Nutcracker. And the last series, uh, I write a lot on the L. Um, in fact, most of the writing that I do is on the L. And I write on the L just because there's so many good things to observe. We all observe these really amazing moments on the L. Um, you know, a lot of times we see something happening and we're not really sure, like, what's really happening at this moment? Like, we're trying to sort of figure it out. And, and I like eavesdropping in conversations also, just sort of trying to figure out, like, what is happening in this, this moment that I'm glimpsing? And I write on the L, um, I don't do crossword puzzles or Sudoku, but I write on the L because I enjoy the mental challenge of figuring out how to take this situation and compress it to 17 syllables. And I can also, if I'm you know, hanging onto a strap or the pole, I can count on my fingers, you know, and I don't have to write, write anything down, I don't have to worry about you know, like my phone or anything. So I can kind of work on it in the morning and then chew on it maybe in the evening and on my way home and I can kind of you know, try to take that moment. So this last set are all things that I have observed on the CTA. You will have your own, I'm sure. This is the summer. Oh, this was such a great thing. So mom, their kids strapped to her front. She's going to work. <laughs> Red line commuters, mom and toddler talk of trains, Thomas and Percy. Thomas that Thomas the tank. Lost mitten on train. Mom and mate wonder if it's ever coming home. Oops. Five, two. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry? Hold on. There we go. Teens? Yep. Teens on Friday train. No, sorry, wrong one. Weekend skateboarders. Not kids, not yet adults. Mom says, home by eight. <laughs> Got it. On packed train, she sings, twinkle, twinkle, little star, soothing child and us. Teens on Friday train, friends silently copying calculus homework. <laughs> oh, it's great. They were like frantically copying each other's calculus homework on the train. Teen son new to trains, mom grips sealed envelope. What awaits downtown? One by one, he shares his Cheetos with train riders, <laughs> much to mom's chagrin. <laughs> she waits at station, not for train, but for driver. Kiss through his window. Thank you.